Hey guys, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. In this week's episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we are gonna be building a mattress tower made out of tuft and needle mattresses. So let's dig in. Okay guys, so this week, yeah, we are gonna be taking apart some tuft and needle mattresses. Three tuft and needle mattresses to be exact. A couple weeks ago, it was like Tuft and Needle Week. We had customers who purchased an old um, Tuft and Needle online and I guess it didn't work out for them so they brought them back. And so we have three of them here. And what better way to utilize an old Tuft and Needle mattress than for Anatomy of a Mattress videos. So let's do a little mattress autopsy, autopsy and see what's going on with these mattresses. So if you don't know what um, or who Tuft & Needle is, they're an online mattress company. They're one of the very popular online mattress companies. They've been around since about 2012. One of the original bed in the box um, companies. And um, yeah, so they have sold a lot of mattresses over the last few years. And these beds retail on average on a queen size, they're about $5.95 in a queen size. In a king size, they're about $7.50. Um, so as far as the price point goes, they're a decent price point. They're a lot better than some of the other ones. Now they started out with one, now they have two other models. They have, so they have three, three models total. You know, it's kind of funny though, a lot of these online companies um, started out with the only mattress that you needed, a one size fits all mattress. Now several of them have multiple different um, mattresses in their lineup, but that's for another video. But this is the original or the, the starting point tuft and needle model. And so the oldest one that we saw, this was in 2016, um, which was I believe the bottom one. And these guys are from 2017. So these mattresses are about three to four years old. And for some reason, it just did not work out for the customers. And we're actually seeing a lot of that lately. Not just with Tuft & Needle, but some of these other mattress companies, online companies, they've had their bed for about five years and now they've been, they just did not last the way that they wanted to. So we're seeing a lot of these starting to come back now. You're gonna see more of these type of videos. But today we wanna take apart Tuft & Needle. So we're gonna do all three of them today and let's see if they all line up and they all match up as far as their specs go, if they're consistent. So let's get my trusty blade here. We're gonna start from the top down. All right, so I think I need a sharper blade. It's not so trusty anymore. So we have this adaptive foam on the top, base foam on the bottom, and mattress one. Okay, that was a little bit harder work than I anticipated so this here you go there you have it this is what's inside of the tuft and needle mattress so good thing for tuft and needle that it looks like they're consistent it would not be good if these beds were all different on the inside but it looks like they are all have the same material and density of the foam so with these videos we're not gonna judge the comfort because like I said in other videos, you can't judge the comfort of a mattress um, by a video and by one person because comfort's subjective. It does nothing for the person, you know. We just wanna just dissect the inside of the mattress because we know mattress shop is confusing. It's not like electronics or cars where you can see what's inside and the specs. With mattresses, you kind of gotta take the person's word for it. And you don't know why one mattress is a thousand bucks, why another one could be $500 or one could be $5,000, you know? So knowing what's inside the mattress is very important because the three most important um, parts to the puzzle when it comes to getting a good mattress is the comfort, the support for your back, 
and also the durability. Like how long is it gonna last you? Or I should say, how long is it gonna hold the field? A lot of mattresses have 10 year warranties now, but that doesn't really tell you how long it's gonna hold that feel, you know? So we, so comfort is a very subjective thing. You really can't judge a mattress by comfort because like I said, what's comfortable for one person might not be comfortable for the next person. But support wise and longevity wise, that a lot of that is dependent upon the the materials that are being used and at least at least for the durability wise support is also can be be subjective so what we have here is like i said this these mattresses are about three to four years old so 2016 2017 they may be a little bit different now what they have but back then they had what they call adaptive foam which was i believe which is like a graphite gel type combination of polyurethane and here, here's the thing with polyurethane, you know, a lot of companies now, a lot of um, companies would put their proprietary spin on polyurethane and to make it their own. They'll add a different um, ingredient. They'll do something a little bit differently, but essentially it's still polyurethane. And so polyurethane, it's this, it's pretty dense. It feels, it does feel like it is um, a pretty high density foam, which is good. Now, let's see, there's my tape measure at. So we have about three inches of this tough to needle adaptive foam and good it's the same on all on each layer or each mattress and you have about seven inches of this support layer so this is a very basic simple mattress you know i mean if if you read their website this mattress probably should be on the quality of a Hastings, you know, because they do a great job at marketing their website or their mattresses. Um, but it's a very simple web uh, mattress. It's it's not expensive. It's actually for 600 bucks, it's a decent mattress. If you're looking for a mattress, kind of like a short-term bed, anywhere from a five-year or less bed, it's not a bad mattress. Um, long-term bed, I probably wouldn't do it long-term, but short-term, it's not that bad. Um, now I wouldn't spend anything more than a thousand bucks or even 600 bucks on over this mattress, but it's, it's okay. Um, so you have this s s thinner, it's a stretch knit cover, which it's good to have a stretch knit because it is going to flow better. It is going to, going to flow better with your body than a quilted cover, um, on something like this, you know, quilted covers are nice on on a different style of mattress but on a faux mattress stretchness is on more preferred um, but there's not a lot to talk about this mattress other than this adaptive foam and this seven inches of this base foam you know I mean it's, it's very simple you know for $595 for a queen size you know I guess that's okay you know our our Belmont would be comparable to this one which is going to be a three layered mattress which is going to be have a very similar feel as this one if you're liking that tuft of needle feel but you're not sure if it's the right one for you we have the Belmont which is going to be about 495 bucks I believe or 450 um, on a queen size so it's a decent mattress um, it's not going to break your bank and um, but for a long-term bed it's probably not going to be the best option so but for anywhere from five years or less you know if you have 600 bucks to spend might not be worth um, trying so this is tough to needle you guys not much to talk about kind of a boring mattress you know you have this this fireproof barrier this sock that goes around it which every mattress needs to pass the fire test this is a pretty common fireproof barrier this is a pretty simple polyester stretch knit cover you know and then you have this adaptive foam which is like a graphite they say it's it it pulls heat away from you and it breathes better we have had stuff that is very similar that use graphite and gel too it's not exactly the same type of of um, foam because this is proprietary to them but it's very similar and it really you don't it's not gonna make it cooler you know you want what you want is breathability nothing's gonna make your mattress 
sleep cooler unless you really add like a piece of um, um, like a fan or something that's gonna make it cooler on it. So what you want is breathability. And when you start gluing the layers together too, that's gonna inhibit the, the breathability. So polyurethane foam, it's not that breathable. So I wouldn't buy it for the cool factor at all, but something inexpensive, it might work for you. So hope this helps. Kind of a boring mattress, not much to talk about, but hey, you know, we can't have it all. Thanks for watching. If you guys are in your mattress shopping journey, um, we have our mattress shopping guide. It's um, just download it. It gives you tips on mattress shopping. So um, just visit our store at mattressmakers.com. Thanks.